London is in the grip of a revolution. It's a very sophisticated revolution, a coffeehouse revolution. The movement is known as the Third Wave. We're about to meet some of London's newest roasters to get a real taste for this coffee coup d'etat. The third wave of coffee refers to a current movement to produce high quality coffee and to consider coffee as an artisanal foodstuff like wine rather than a commodity like wheat. All Press Espresso is a speciality roastery from New Zealand. This year they set up shop in Shoreditch from where they roast the coffee, sell wholesale to restaurants and train baristas all over London. Café acts like a shop front, serving their coffee to thirsty East End hipsters. I asked them what makes their coffee so different. That's the largest coffee that we'll do. Um, basically, always has to have a double shot in it, which is 60 mils of espresso, uh, and that's uh, 350 mils in there, and it's 250 in there. So, predominantly, it is quite a good um, coffee to milk ratio. So, actually, tasting the espresso has to be made well, has to be prepared, has to be fresh, ground fresh, and the barista has to know what they're doing. So, if you, the more milk you have, the more washed out the coffee is, the less flavour you can get. I asked about the significance of having the roaster in full view of the cafe. Um, I think that it's making people aware of the importance of fresh coffee, uh, whether it's freshly roasted, locally sourced, locally roasted, uh, and basically just that connection with the product. I think in England you have um, quite a, a conscious consumer. You're very, very aware. I think the organic and fair trade movement kind of started in England, which is really, really lovely. Next we visited Caravan on Exmouth Market a restaurant that has taken the step to race their own coffee, adding wholesale to their revenue stream. Owner and executive chef Miles Kirby showed us how to roast the perfect bean. Uh, we're coming near the end of a roast here. Um, once we hit about 230 degrees, I'm going to drop the beans out of here into this cooling tray. Basically, the beans are going to be stirred as air is sucked from the environment to cool them as fast as possible. It's a really important part of the roasting process. Okay, they're about to drop out. For each roast, we map time versus temperature, so we can go back, taste it. If anything doesn't taste right, we can find out why. I think uh, people's expectations of what a cup of coffee should be is changing rapidly and dramatically, um, and has done. It's probably been happening for the last few years in, in London, but uh, in the last year and a half is just just kind of out of control. The, 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 the power of the wave, I guess, that's crushing through or passing through the UK and London. I think it's very much part of the atmosphere in London nowadays and uh, with the Olympics and everything else coming along we're, we're very much an international city and I think we've caught up and probably overtaken an awful lot of other uh, cities around the world with uh, what we've got here. And I, I, I mean London's a brilliant place to live and to visit so uh, I think the coffee bar scene is, is very much part of that. This may not mean the end of Starbucks. For coffee lovers all over London, whether they're opening their own roasteries or just getting a great cup of coffee, the opportunities are certainly growing.